What's good, YouTube? It's your boy HB Moot back with another video, man. Back with another banger, man. And today, you already know how we rocking, man. We coming with the common sense test, as you can see by the title, man. And it's saying 90% of people will fail. How will 90% of people fail a common sense test? But then again, not a lot of people got common sense. Like, but I got common sense. I got enough common sense to be able to answer some questions. And I hope y'all do too, man. y'all enjoy this video, I need y'all to smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you new, man, cause your boy dropping bangers every other day and it ain't stopping. I'm not stopping. That's, that's, you already know, man. But, without further ado, we gonna hop right into this, man. We gonna jump right into this. What's true with me? With me. Little commercial. Oh, my screen. Damn, bro, mad commercials. Skipping all that. 90% of people fail this common sense test. It looks like common sense isn't so common because Word. according to research, 90% of adults get these questions wrong, oh yet my, kids do just air. fine. Everything. That's because yeah. grown-ups overcomplicate things while children use their common sense and don't overthink. So follow their lead and let's start. 1. Which word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? You have 10 seconds to come up with the correct adjective. Disabled. You should just call this person normal. I don't know about you, but I have all 10 of my fingers divided onto two hands with five on each. Two, all right. We tested your anatomy, now some geography. If a plane crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States, where should they bury the survivors? Whoa, are you supposed to know international aviation laws or something? Well, take 10 seconds to figure it out. Where they're from? What the hell? Bury them where they're from. Have you made up your mind? Canada? USA? Hmm. But are you 100% sure they bury the survivors? Three. Okay, how about this one? Imagine that you just entered a pitch black room. There's an oil lamp, a newspaper, and some kindling wood inside the room. But you only have one match. You have to make a tough choice. What will you light first? Wait, you only have one match. You got a match. You got to like that match, bro. The oil lamp is definitely a good choice, but still incorrect. First of all, you'll need to light the match. Yeah, word. I mean, word. Like, Four. Mrs. Brownie, like despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Wait, gotta be brown. Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely be pink, but bungalows just have one floor. No stairs needed. I ain't even hear what it was talking Five. about, bro. One day oh a man got caught in the pouring the rain. Unfortunately, he had no umbrella or hat or anything else he could use to stay dry. Yet not a single hair on his head got wet. How so? It wasn't raining. It wasn't raining. I'm calling it. 
The answer is so simple, you'll want to slap yourself for not thinking of it. The man was bald. 6. How can it be that every single person in a plane crash died, but two people survived? This is a straight up paradox, and you have only 10 seconds to explain it. How? I, I want to see this, how? The thing is that those two survivors were married. Every single person. Ah, I see what they did there. 7. Time for a tricky one, so be very attentive. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? Bro, what the hell? I don't even know. A, a bed, a chair, and a toothbrush. Common sense, remember? Don't overcomplicate things. 8. In some months there are 31 days, in others there are 30. But how many months have 28 days? 1. Come on, you February. know this one. You've got 10 seconds to remember. February. And if you don't know that... So, is it just 1? February, right? Nope. The answer is actually 12. All 12 months have 28 days. Press the like button if you got that one. My boy, who the fuck was? 9. Who A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. All of a sudden, a huge black car with its headlights off came around the corner and screeched to a halt not to hit him. How on earth did the driver of the car see the man in black? And 10 seconds on the clock. If you need more time, just pause the video. Pause this motherfucker. Hold on. A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. All of a sudden, a huge black car with his headlights off came around the corner and screeched to a halt. Not to hit him. <clears> Who <throat> on earth did the driver of the car see the man in all black? Now, I think this through mo You've been moving a little too fast, getting these shits wrong. You're a little dickhead, bro. you a little... I mean, you gotta get it together, bro. You gotta get it together, bro. You smoke too much weed, man. Alright. A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road all of a sudden. Huge black car over there, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Word. <clears throat> well, it's kind of hard not to notice a man dressed completely in black during the daytime. 10. There were three highly important rooms in the house of an extremely important man. One room was filled with valuable secret documents. The second one was full of money, and in the third room, the man kept expensive jewelry. But one day, an arsonist set the house on fire, and all the highly important rooms burst into flames. Which of the rooms did the police start to extinguish the fire first and foremost? You can debate the philosophical stuff later, but let's get one thing straight. The police don't put out fires. That's what firefighters do. 11. What's the biggest problem with snow boots? That's a pretty random question. Still, take 10 seconds to think of your complaints about this winter weather must have. There's no such thing as snow boots. Snow boots melt as soon as you take them home or spring comes. Oh, because these ones are made of snow. Gotcha. Who would have thought about 12. that, bro? How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? You don't. How would you? 
Y'all ever thought about the word giraffe being, it could be spelled or said like giraffe So here's exactly how you do it. You open the fridge and put the giraffe inside. Then, it's better to close the door so you won't let the cold out. This question in particular shows if you tend to overcomplicate things. 13. Who would be now, putting a giraffe how do you in put a, an in elephant in a fridge? You just put it in the fridge. You just put it in the fridge. <laughs> you just put it in the fridge. Word. All right, listen carefully. Open the fridge, take the poor frozen giraffe out, put the elephant in, and close the door. If you remember the giraffe, you're good at thinking about repercussions of your actions. 14. Noah builds one more ark and invites all the world's animals to join him. Every single animal gets on board, except for one. What animal doesn't board the ark? The bird. The bird. It's the elephant, of course. It's still in the fridge, poor thing. If you got this one right, your memory is razor sharp. Very nice. I didn't even know we were still answering questions from the- 15. Uh, You're oh, hiking oh, in the wilderness oh, when you oh. come up on a river. You have to cross it, but you know that crocodiles dwell in rivers there. How can you reach the opposite side without becoming a crocodile's dinner? Take a boat. Gotta take a boat, bro. Come on, bro. I don't know how many I got wrong. Don't worry, just swim across the river. There's no danger. All the crocodiles are on Noah's Ark. Did you figure this one out? If so, it shows you can quickly learn from your mistakes. Which question baffled you more than the others? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to like this video and click subscribe. I don't know about y'all, but that felt like a SAT. It felt like I was trying to get into college or some, some, some Harvard University type crap. The first person to guess how many I got right, I give y'all five dollars. I cash up y'all five dollars, put y'all cash up in the comments. But if y'all got all, I don't know how many questions, probably 15, I think 15, yeah. If y'all got all the questions right, I'll cash up y'all 10 dollars. Put your cash up in the comments below. And yeah, man, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's I gotta study. I got a lot of studying to do. It's your boy HB Move, man. And if you enjoyed this video, I need y'all to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Your boy dropping bangers every other day, man. And we gonna get it cracking like that. Yeah, fail me.